Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your Rodecaster together with MIDI triggering as a scene switcher for Ecamm Live. For those of you who don't know, MIDI actually stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface and it's the protocol by which all synthesizers, drum machines, sequencers and the like communicate. It's been around actually since 1983 and as a musician myself I use MIDI today for all my musical production. So the ability to map MIDI functionality on your smart pads is available in all the Rodecaster series of products. That's the Rodecaster Pro 2, the Rodecaster Duo, and the Streamer X. So in order for you to do this, you're going to have to install a third-party plugin called the Ecamm Live MIDI Controller MIDI Deck, and it's available from the App Store. Now it's not free, but it does have a trial period so you can mess around, test it out and make sure it works. Once you've got the software downloaded and up and running, it's going to look something like this. Now keep in mind that you're going to have to have Ecamm Live running in the background as well because it's going to fetch all the scenes from your current profile. If you don't see your scenes listed here, as you can see mine, hit the refresh button and it's going to fetch those scenes for you. Now, as we're going to use this as a switcher, you can see that it's got a list of things that it can do other than just switch scenes. You can control all your various cameras that you have listed within Ecamm Live, together with any videos that you might have uploaded. As well, you can trigger all the built-in sound effects, plus any sounds that you've already uploaded. And in interview mode, you can place people in specific placeholders, you can put them in solo mode, mute them, and so on. And you can control all various things within the volume. Mute your microphone, mute your guest microphone, for example, and control the volume there. And then other things, just as like starting up your live stream, uh, putting it in screen share mode and other things. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this software other than switch scenes. And today we're going to just be going through a couple of settings, getting the Rodecaster Pro working so it will trigger various scenes for you using the software. So the next step is to configure your smart pads on the Rodecaster Pro and map those to a particular scene that you want to switch within Ecamm Live. So for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to be using Rode Central because it's easier to show you in a demo mode. All right so first off we've got Rode Central up and running here on the left and on the right we've got the Ecamm Live MIDI controller. We're going to first of all select Customize Smart Pads on Road Central, and that's going to put the Roadcaster Pro into this transfer mode so it can configure them accordingly. Depending on which version of Roadcaster you have a model, it depends on how many pads you have. But for me, um, I have a number of banks that are available for me to configure within the Roadcaster Pro. The first one is the default one with all the default music beds and the little sound bites that you have on these pads. The second one is all the voice effects that you would typically use and the third one in my case is completely empty. So this is where you can start to add specific smart pads to do various things. In our case we're going to be setting up some MIDI smart pads to trigger the respective scenes within Ecamm Live. Okay let's set up our first smart pad, hit any one of the empty ones and as you know with the Rodecaster you have the ability to trigger a sound, do an effect, do some mixing, but for us we want to press MIDI and you get a number of options once you hit the MIDI button. We want to first of all change latching to momentary. Just like the Stream Deck, you just want to hit the button once and it will switch to the respective scene. Now with MIDI you have a number of different options. Let's hit the custom button. So MIDI has two types of control. One is the command control and then the other one is note. For us, we'll just select note because we have a number of different notes, actually 127 of them in total to choose from. And you have 16 channels in MIDI. So whether it's a control character or a control code, you still have 16 channels. For us, we'll just set notes and channels. We don't care about the other two settings. These are related to velocity. We're not playing a piano or a musical instrument. We just want to trigger something on or off. So we're going to set for the first button, um, note 0, channel 1. We'll change the colour of the button and the name to give it something more meaning. I am going to do this as count because I'm going to be triggering my countdown. 
And once that is done, we'll just change the color to a nice orange. And that's all you have to do on the Rode Central side. But when we go into the Ecamm Live MIDI controller software now, we have to map the settings we've aligned here with the respective scene that we want to change. So up here, we'll go to Countdown. And by the way, each of these play buttons means that you can trigger scenes within uh, Ecamm Live automatically. So if I hit this button here, it's going to trigger my main scene. If I go back, let's go back to the main application, which is this one here. Let's go back. Um, so I want to control the countdown with this button that I've just assigned here on Road Central. So if we go to Map MIDI, you have a couple of options here. If you were doing this on the Roadcaster Pro hardware, you could actually click the Learn MIDI button. And once you've done all your settings on the hardware side, you could press the button and it will learn the MIDI settings that you've configured. But for our case, we're just going to manually do it because we've, we can't press the button once we're in the Road software. So that's OK for now. We're just going to map these accordingly. So all we do is just match them with the respective pad. So um, We've got the MIDI type here, node on or off or control change. We're just doing node um, note on in this particular case. The MIDI note we have is zero because it's note zero. And then all we need to change is the channel. At the moment, we've just got channel one selected. So we make sure we've got channel one selected here. And that's it. That's all you have to do to map your respective smart pad to a particular scene. So we'll configure another one as well while we're at it. So let's go to the next pad, MIDI. We're going to change this to momentary. We'll do custom. We'll change it to note. I want note number one now. We'll still stay on channel one. Remember, we have 127 notes per channel, and we have 16 channels. So we've got a lot to choose from. I want to change this now as my main camera. So I'll just do main. We'll keep the color as blue and then I'm now going to go up here to the main camera mappings on the Ecamm Live MIDI controller. Hit map MIDI. It's still going to be note on. I'm going to change it now to MIDI note number one and keep it to channel one and we are good to go once we've hit the save button. I'm now going to bring the physical Rodecaster Pro into view with my iPhone and then show you how we just press the buttons and hopefully the scenes will trigger. So here's the Roadcaster Pro. And as you can see, we've got the two buttons assigned. We've got the MIDI one assigned to the countdown in yellow and the blue one assigned to the main scene in blue. They correspond to the buttons here on the smart pads, but unlike the Stream Deck, we're not going to get any visual representation on those buttons but you do have the visual reference here in the main Roadcaster screen. So as long as you can remember which colors and the naming convention is works for you, then at least that may work without too much trouble. So anyway, let's just press the button. Here's the yellow. That's going to go to the countdown timer as we expected. And if I press the blue one now, it's triggered and gone to the main scene. I think using the smart pads as a trigger for Ecamm Live is a great complement to a Stream Deck. I don't think it will replace the Stream Deck, but you could do if you've only got a small amount of scenes that you want to switch and you've got a Rodecaster Pro, then why not use it? Well, I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you're going to be using a similar workflow in your live streams. I'd be interested to know if you've set up yours in a different way and if you're going to be using the Rodecaster series of products as your scene switcher for Ecamm Live. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.